skin. Today we're going to be talking about the Coach Cassie versus the Coach Court bag. Kind of the, you know, what inspired what. And also introduce you to the Court bag too. Everyone said that when the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse came out and then the Coach Cassie came out that it was a repeat of the same bag. That's just not the case. The Coach Cassie where while it's very very similar to the pochette matisse and you'll you know you'll see it was based off of a bag they previously had and if you're well versed in your purses the louis vuitton louis vuitton Monsu bag came around the same time the court bag came and it actually was after the court bag so it was court bag Monsu, pochette matisse cassie in that order and there's also different variations too. Um, everyone had a bag in that style in the 80s. Any level brand, they all had a bag style like that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What we'll do in this video is I'll show you some things that fit into the court bag and some that fit into the Cassie bag and kind of show you about each one. So first, this is the um, now a little more well-known uh, Coach Court bag. You have here your brass turn lock that Coach is famous for um, with their turn lock. You have a top handle right here to hold it off of. You have, of course, your Coach tag here. All of the hardware on this bag is brass. And if you're looking on the secondhand market for this bag, you can actually get it for a pretty good deal if you don't want to pay for the Coach Cassie. Depending on the um, you know cut and color of the bag, it can range between 350 to about 400 with tax. But um, the court, Coach Court Bag, you can get on different sites for at least $20. I actually, I got this bag off of Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> I bought this one and the Wilson. I no longer have the Wilson, I just have the Court Bag because the Wilson was in a different leather. It didn't match anything I wear. I wear kind of, you know, either, you know, dark clothes or mostly neutrals. So this court coat bag, court, this court coach court bag, Jesus, that's a tongue twister, has um, very soft, supple leather. It's beautiful. Um, this bag is very, very old. You have a pocket here in the back where you can put your cell phone or things that. I like that this bag is so neutral to where you can wear it anywhere. And if you you know if you Google the bag, you'll see celebrities like Taylor Swift wearing this bag or um, other bloggers. But I like that about this bag; it's not so overdone. You know, you don't go on Instagram, you see, you know, co Coach Court bag, Coach Court bag, Coach Court bag, and it doesn't make your bag seem as special. Um, this bag, you don't really see it that often, but it's a sturdy bag. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to give it to my daughter if she's into bags someday. So anyway, you open the turn lock closure. It is smooth leather all the way through and then you have in the inside of the bag where the pockets are you have more of the um, te like not textured but it's um more I guess you could say it's textured leather it's just not polished just very you know undone leather I'll show some you know pictures of the inside later on you have one zip pocket here the zipper goes from left to right if you're facing the bag brass hardware in here you have a main pocket and then you have this front pocket right here where you can see the lock right through here on your sides you have beautiful brass um locks i could probably hit it with a little bit of brasso i think and make it shine up a bit um, when I got this bag, I did condition the leather with a Cadillac leather conditioner. I didn't clean it too much, just condition the leather. I didn't want to take whatever natural oils were already on the bag. But if you look on the side, this is what you have on the side. Your back. Your other side. And your front. Just a little floppy, because I don't, I don't really stuff my bags, especially not one this old. <laughs> Just not gonna do it. This leather does scratch a little easy. I mean, it buffs out just fine. Um, it's not as delicate as, you know, like Chanel lambskin or um, some of the YSL bags, kind of that, you know, you touch it one bit and it scratches. It's not that bad, but it does 
have some, you know, little marks and so on it. As you can see. Now, if you um, if you want to compare this to the Coach Cassie bag, I'll talk about the Cassie bag, and then I'll bring these both two back together. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> okay. So, I know you've heard about this one, the Coach Cassie bag. It debuted um, early last year. It was all over Instagram. Um, YouTube, Facebook, you name it, everyone was saying, oh, this is a Pochette Matisse dupe. It's not. People went crazy saying that Coach, you know, copied Louis Vuitton. I think all brands, you know, they derive their designs from somewhere. If you look on each level, whether it is, you know, Guess all the way up to you know, Chanel, Hermes, you can see a little bit in everything. I remember Hermes has the Birkin bag. There is a um, brand on Amazon, Anifield, that had bags that were similar to it. You know, not with the branding, obviously, because that would be counterfeit. But they all are inspired. The uh, YSL Sac du Jour bag, very similar to um, a Michael Kors bag that I own. Um, that I'll, I'll probably be able to do a review on it for you if you like, but... um. It's not a very, you know, popular bag. But anyway, so Coach Cassie. <laughs> so as you do get with the court bag, you get this beautiful Coach um, tag over here. You have the larger brass buckle. You have your side over here, which is, which is really nice. You have your back where you can stick a full cell phone. I've even been able to put an iPad in there. Um, same right here. And then you notice that the leather has a little bit of darker coloring here and it comes with this beautiful brown and then you have the canvas. I know it's a lot of people have just been getting the black, which I like the black too, but um, this is really nice. It's kind of, kind of reminds me of the, um, how the Louis Vuitton has the reverse monogram. This is Coach's version of the reverse monogram, I guess. But Coach had the bag design first. If you could even call it. It's a, you know, a, for that era, a messenger bag. That was the popular style of bag back then. And they just brought it back. You know, just because it's from a different brand that's not a luxury brand does not mean that all luxury brands had their ideals first. If you get what I'm saying. So anyway, you open up the bag and you have this beautiful, I would say a maroon interior with the pretty leather uh trim on here you see the stitching right up here hopefully it focuses mine has a little bit of lint on it you have you have one pocket here that you can put you know phone or whatever cards you have another pocket in here you have the coach legacy tag which is right here i don't know if you can see that probably not and the Coach Legacy tag here, big open space. Then you have a smaller little slip pocket right here. So open space, slip pocket, and then another big space right here. The canvas monogram goes all the way through here into here. You have your uh, leather, monogram, leather. So it's kind of like the reverse bag in a way. Um, all of the hardware is detailed with coach somewhere on it like on here you have the coach hardware right there the strap is very um, substantial it's a nice size strap feels good on the shoulder and let's go ahead and compare the two together they're very comparable in size now I'm not sure if this stresses a little bit more because this is older and this is relatively new, but you have them together to the side. The back. This is a bit wider in the back, I think. This more tapers to the top, which was this, you know, classic of the style of bag at that time. You have your top handles. And for your brass detailing, if you can see on here, this one is a lot bigger 
than this one. But they, they seem to fit the bag. I feel like the court bag is a lot more delicate and the Cassie bag is has more of a masculine shape to it, if you would say. Similar to the Pochette Matisse is a little more masculine. I think the Louis Vuitton Monsu bag was a very masculine bag in itself as well. But um I'll try to I'll try to link some pictures to it if you want to, you know, do further research. But as far as leather is concerned, this leather is a little tougher. Still smooth, still that smooth leather, not a Saffiano, which is the, the textured leather, is not pebbled. The solid colors of the Cassie bag, though, are pebbled. So, um, unless you have it like in a reverse, but I mean, you can see that. So, this is more of a smooth leather compared to this one. I mean, granted, this bag is extremely old. This is very like butter smooth, butter soft, just smooth. This is more of a tough. Um, canvas is your traditional, you know water resistant coach canvas so if i had to pick a bag what would i pick it depends if i'm you know going to a festival if i'm going you know out and about or even like to a job interview or something i'm gonna pick the um court bag and my reasoning being first it's a classic you know this bag i think it's very casual I would not wear this um, to a formal. I might wear it out for drinks, but that's if I have like, you know, a, kind of a flashy outfit on. It's very plain, but it doesn't scream logos. You know, in every situation, you don't want to walk in with a bunch of logos all over the place. If someone knows the bag, they know the bag. But if you don't want to be like, hey, look at me, I'm wearing a coach bag, then this is the one for you. You can find them for a great price. One con I would say is that I feel like my Cassie fits more in it because this is not very compartmentalized. It's just, you know, two compartments and that's it. I don't think it's a very good, you know, show of space, even though it does stretch out. But it's not very as spacious, I think. But it's still a beautiful bag. I wish the strap was a little bit thicker and more substantial like the Cassie strap. I mean, you can see them both together the hardware on both this is more of a rounded you know buckle this is more of a square buckle with the coach uh, logo on it try to put a picture so you guys can see that see your two straps um but other than that i mean i like it it's a solid bag it's a simple bag it'll get you where you need to go in the price range that you, price range that you're wanting so for the cassie bag this bag is very dear to my heart because I've wanted this bag forever. When it came out, I didn't want it to be, you know, another, you know, another Me Too bag. I don't really see it that often. I see the Pochette Matisse a lot more often than I do this bag because I think, you know, one, sometimes people are just like, oh, well, I just want Pochette Matisse. Just go with whatever makes your heart sing. If this makes your heart sing, go for it. If the Pochette Matisse makes your heart sing, go for it. If the Coach Court bag does, you know, find it and go for it. But I think this bag is so special because one, it has the contrasting colors. I can fit a lot more in it. it has the turn lock closure versus the S lock um, closure in the other in the other bag, and you know. It's pretty carefree. I've taken this to the park with my with my kids. I've taken this out for dinner. I've taken this not a formal because they're they're both casual bags, but this bag is very versatile and it feels like it's sturdy. You know, Coach. I think when it comes to leather goods, it's a toss up between Coach and Dooney and Burke. I think Coach has the best leather goods from their jackets to their shoes. Even from, you know, back in the day till now, my mom has an old Coach Patricia bag that still looks good. I cleaned it up for her and you can wear that bag for another couple years. I can't say the same with a lot of luxury brands these days as far as quality goes. But so far, I haven't had any issues. Now, if you know about the Pochette Matisse, you know like sometimes in this area there will be cracking issues in the glazing or melting issues in the glazing or even cracking in the canvas. This is a mixed bag, so, you know, we'll see. I've had the bag for a couple months now, but I haven't had any issues with my glazing whatsoever. None. 
and I don't foresee any issues with this bag because it is coach. They are built like workhorses. You can take it in the sun, rain, whatever. There's nothing, nothing's gonna happen to that bag. I mean, of course there's onesies and twosies that you might have something happen, but other than that, they're good. So now I'm gonna switch the camera angle and I will show you what fits in the bag and I'll insert some mod shots too of each bag. You can get, you know, your choice of which one that you would rather do. For this one, I think it makes a great mom bag because in addition to being able to fit your essentials in, you can fit like a thin thing of wipes and maybe a diaper or two. I have two kids so I have to carry two diapers, but um, you know, you roll them up, stuff them in there and just kind of limit what else you have in there. You can fit it in here. The court bag, I don't think so as much. But um, let's let's see. Um, if you saw my last what's in my bag, you know this right here is where I keep you know chapstick, some cash, hair ties, Tylenol, ibuprofen, band aids. So um, I can also fit my AirPods case in there. So I have one diaper, a sunglass case, a compact wallet, um, my key clay that has my keys in it, a toy, candy. Well, not candy. Uh, nutrition bar, notebook, pen, small hand sanitizer, and another chew toy. And I'll add in a lotion as well. And let's see what I can fit in here. You have a pocket in here that goes from left to right. Um, it's kind of a just soft cloth material. You have your coach legacy tag which is in every coach item you have your authenticity thing over here with the code in it you have another little slip pocket right here you have another pocket here here's the bag okay so you get a better look Hopefully it focuses for you and see the leather is able to be scratched but it's still very sturdy. You have the other pocket right here. So, if I'm trying to use my space a little well, I can put the diaper back here because I'm hoping the two-year-old will not need to use the diaper much longer. I have this little case right here, compact wallet, Sunglass, keys, lotion right here, notebook right here, put this one right here, pen, and you see I'm stuffing it. I hate to stuff bags, but I wanna, want you to be able to see what all you can carry. And I usually put a snack on top of there. And, you know, okay, so that does not work. That is too much. So what we could take out is the snack, maybe this notebook, and let's see. And that closes. The little sides of here go on the side um, on the Louis Vuitton as well, I've noticed, but this is what it looks like. There's the pockets like here. So the only things I couldn't really fit are the notebook, snack, and train. Now I'll show you what it looks like packed full. And I can take the diaper out. Maybe that helps. It's not as bad. Just your essentials that can fit into here. Now if I take this out and I add a long wallet in here that I can also add a little, what was it called? Well, maybe not that. This lotion, and probably the snack too. Close it up, it's just fine. Yeah, not so bad. But I think you'd do better off with the compact wallet. Okay, now we have the Coach Court bag. You'll see a little bit closer up, see it's, it's old. It needs to be cleaned in condition. A little bit more but here's the brass detailing over here 
See the back where you can put, you know, a cell phone or whatever. And the Cassie bag, that's where I put my cell phone at. See here, you open it up. You have your Coach Creed. I call it the Legacy something on the last one. It's the Creed, not the Legacy, but it's very old. It's hard to really get in there and see. I don't know if it's going to focus. It'll focus. But you have your inside here. I can take my little case. I'll put it wide ways to kind of widen up a bit. Keys. Compact wallet. Sunglasses. Oh, barely. It's filling up a little bit quicker. Uh, notebook. Pen. Hand cream. Little hair tie. Hand sanitizer. I'll just fill it with the essentials. That seems like this is all this bag can do. And put the snack right in there. I can't leave the house without snacks. I have a child. <laughs> So this is what it's looking like from this angle, this angle, and the bottom. This is the coach court bag. Here's a, you know, crossbody view. It sits right up on the hip, kind of. See from the side, here, or you can also just wear it like this. And we'll see the Cassie. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments. Is this little buckle here comes unattached from the purse at times. Not entirely sure why, but maybe you guys know why it's doing that. Can I help me figure that out? Um, one detail I forgot to mention here is on the strap. You have this um, pretty kind of fold over right here. It's very, very nice. So, the Cassie, for reference, you know, I'm 5'5". Five five. <laughs> so, this is the side. It comes, my hips right here, comes slightly below. I have it on the second to last strap to make it as short as possible, because I'm not the tallest. Crossbody. This lays very well on, on the hip. So thanks for checking out my review on the Coach Cassie bag versus the Coach Court bag. I hope this really helped you to figure out, you know, which bet is the best bag for you and what fits your lifestyle a little bit better. I love both of them for different reasons, but if you want to see more content, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and until next time, may your wine or your coffee be stronger than your kids. See you later, guys.